My one friend has recently started watching subliminal message videos. She says that they're going to help her lose weight, gain self-confidence, and even change the color of her eyes, given she watches them often enough. Bullshit. I mean, I have noticed a change in her lately, I will admit. She started drinking this random brand of energy drink that I've never heard of or seen before. It's not really my business, I know. I'm simply concerned for a good friend. I don't think that it's in anyone's best interest to be drinking as much of those things as she does. I've seen her guzzle down a 12-pack in less than a day. My bets are the videos are doing it to her. I mean, if I were making subliminal message videos, my first instinct would be to sneak in messages selling a product. What's the harm in that? They get their confidence or new eye color, whatever, and I get their money. It's simply a paid service, though the buyer may be unwitting. I'm starting to ramble. Anyway, my point is, my friend really hasn't been doing well. She's lost weight in the past month that she's been caught up in all of this. Too much weight, if you ask me. And her skin looks worse for wear. I've asked her to stop, thought about staging an intervention or something. However, I doubt it will do any good at this point. She's damn near addicted to those drinks. I can't remember the last time I've seen her ingest something other than them. I decided to look into the brand, which I'm not going to name, because from what I've gathered there's probably arsenic in it. Which, in all honesty, isn't too bad. There's also arsenic in rice, but cleaned properly, it's a nearly negligible amount. However, these drinks also contain a notable amount of nicotine. The combination can make for a deadly cocktail, given the right conditions. Hello. I'm going to ruin my own story. If you'd like to stay freaked out, by all means, stop watching now. If you'd like to learn a few new things, please, stick around. The idea of this story is that subliminal messages can influence someone to do the sender's bidding. This simply isn't true. There is no evidence supporting your subconscious mind can even comprehend things that you consciously can't. For example, are you craving cat meat right now? Funny, I've been telling you that you crave it for the duration of my narration, albeit backwards and below the volume of the music. But your subconscious should be able to pick it up, right? Subliminal messages are simply a hoax. If you do watch a video with a subliminal message, the most likely effect is your life will not change. Any change that you do find in your life is a result of the placebo effect. Your mind believes in the effect of the video so hard that you will get whatever result you wished for, within reason. Another explanation, if you do feel compelled, is that the message is not subliminal, but rather supraliminal. An example of a supraliminal message is as follows. If German music is played at a liquor store, German liquor sales will increase. If French music is played in a liquor store, French liquor sales will increase. In a study, people were subconsciously influenced with audible music, making the messages superliminal. But what about the demonic messages in songs? You only hear them because you're let on. If I tell you you'll hear something in a song, you will hear it. There are exceptions to this. For instance, there's a song called Wisteria, which backwards really does has a creepy message. <laughs> I choked her to death, then cut her in small pieces. I'll leave a few article links down below if you're interested. Thanks for sticking around. I find this topic really interesting, with all of the misconceptions surrounding it. Feel free to ask any questions you may have. I'll try my best to answer you. Have a wonderful morning, day, evening, night, whenever you're watching.